Welcome to this week's episode of TLA. If you're new here, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the kayak fishing content this week. This week, my friend Wumo Outdoors and I travel to the Pacifica coastline where the salmon fishing has been consistent for anglers trying their hand at salmon even for the first time. Although the fish have not been the quality of the Half Moon Bay fish salmon, the quantity is there to justify a trip. As they say, the tug is a drug. An important note, this portion of the California coast can get windy, swelly, and foggy, so make sure to fish with a friend, but also have the appropriate safety gear when going out to the ocean, like a compass, GPS, and lighting. Remember, safety first. All right, good morning, guys. So, guess who I got here today? Woo! On the weekday. On the weekday. I had to convince him not to come out here today, but Mo, you've been out pretty good. You've been getting out a pretty good run lately. Uh, on a boat. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, well, and I had a really good session on the kayak. Too. You did have a really good yeah. session on the kayak, yes. Yeah. And when I saw what happened last time when you lost your um, rod. What? Your drama on your rod. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys haven't checked out the video, guys. Go ahead and check out this video. It's coming out. Uh, you can't. It's going to be a lot of fun when you watch. Watch one of the seven bites. Guess what happens? All right, what are we doing today, Moo? We are chasing Chrome. Mm -hmm. Chrome. Chasing Chrome. What's your personal best here? Here? It's not that big. I mean, L back then it was big. That year it was a big fish, <laughs> but this year everybody's catching big fish. Everybody's so, yeah, it fish. was a 35 inch or 20 pound. Yeah. But so, so year, every year everyone's getting a 35. Oh, another 35. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody's catching 35. Inch another right 35. <laughs> oh my God. You ain't nothing special. So, we're going to get a 36. <laughs> Let's do it. There's lots to love about kayak fishing. With the exponential growth of the sport today, there are many options to get into kayak fishing. My preference is the Hopi Revo 13 because of its speed and aerodynamic feel, which helps me cut through the water at the cost of some stability. Mu prefers the fish from a south, which offers a cool live well, stability, and quickness when paddling in the ocean. Here is a pro pro launching tip from TLA. Most coves will have a corner where the swells are less impactful as other parts of the shore break. It's the most protected part of the cove. This is where you usually want to be launching if you're getting out of a cove.
Got one. Got one. That's too bad. Oh, wow, this one took me the whole day to get. This one took me the whole day to get. Jumped out of the air and everything. Did aerials. Holy smokes. This is not a huge fish, by any means. But it's a fish. I'm happy about it. You know, stay around these bait balls. Ah, these hooks are so awesome. These hooks are so awesome. If you want to know more about kayak fishing, you can always visit my website at www.thelosanchovy.com where I have numerous tutorials, videos, and resources to help you get started. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, share, and like, and it really helps the channel grow. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> It's like Polinas. Is there a big smile? Ready, go! Here's a TLA Pro Pro tip when landing. Never take any shore breaks for granted. Paddle in as quickly as possible and limit your time on the surf break. Every second counts when you're on the surf. So make sure that you limit your time on there and get in as quickly as possible. All right guys, so we're back on land. Uh, man, we had to grind out for that fish. Uh, the whole day, was the whole morning was just really tough bite. There was a window early, early in the morning and, and the fish had had bit around there, but, and I was right on the fish, by the way, and um, I just couldn't get a bite for whatever reason. Um, it was the same way, and so we, we tried to do the best we can, but we had to jig up some bait, and I had to jig up some, some live anchovies, and that's what I used in order to get that last fish I got over there. But uh, overall, it was a it was a tough tougher day than I would like it to be. But sometimes that's just what you have to do in order to get a fish. You gotta grind it out. But we did grind it out. And I and uh, we got three small bites, uh, and they were all undersized. And I got uh, that big bite that we had earlier, and then I got the smaller bite um, that no, it just came off as a small fish. And, and that was it. You know, sometimes you just allowed one bite to make it work, and that's what I did. I got one bite to make it work. But uh, can't complain. Got some fish coming home. Uh, it was a beautiful day. You know, spotty fish bite, but it is what it is. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Go out there, get some fish. If you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Okay. Catch you guys next time in another episode of TLA. Visit our store in beautiful Redwood City, where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time. <laughs>